Hey yo, and so what up? I'm a piece of back with another video. So um, I'm just I'm just <laughs> butter me up because I'm on a roll. Okay, I'm doing these videos back to back. Shout out Drizzy. Okay, shout out to the Six God. Um, I just recorded legit uh, YouTube channels number one, legit YouTube channels number two, and now not number three. I got a book. Um, on Ogun that I have completed and that's what I want to let you know my beautiful subscribers and the people who are just you know you just came across my videos I'm El Conquistador who is you okay um, if you subscribe then I can get to know you okay like comment subscribe okay hit that notification bell but I just finished my book for Ogun. Who is Ogun? Ogun is the Orisha of the Forge, of Labor, of La Policia. Um, works hand in hand with Ochosi. Those two are boys. They're like Mario and Luigi. Um, inseparable. Um, Ogun, what else? Without him, aside from the generic, everybody said, oh, you take his offering to the railroad track. Yes, it takes off into the railroad track. Um, these guns and steel and all that. But deeper than that, Ogun is man's ingenuity. Man's uh, continuing evolution. Um, Ogun is technology. And not just like computers and stuff. But from the hoe, the plow, um to creating these, these tools for agriculture to provide for ourselves as humans. You know, um, Ogun is the car, Ogun is the plane, Ogun is man's ingenuity, man's creativity to, to work and achieve a goal. Um, and yeah, just to, to build and sweat and labor to create something, to create um, anything. You know, that that's what Ogun represents, man's progression. Um, so, you know, a hundred years ago, we had the, the Ford Model T. You and then, okay, the Ford Model T, and you go to the 60s, you know, the 50s and 60s, and the, with the Thunderbirds, I don't, I'm not a car guy. Don't talk to me about no cars, I don't buy no cars. But the cars of the 80s, they were like boxes, and now we got Teslas and Maseratis and Lamborghinis and stuff. That progression of bigger, better, faster, how do we make the job easier? Um, uh, you know, from the printing press to now we're on laptops. Um, that is Ogun, progression. Um, and in some cases, Ogun is more so the actual labor that it takes to create. Um, for example, um, Obatala is the owner of the knife, not Ogun. Um, anybody can, that, that's what I was told by an elder. Obatala is the owner of the knife, but Obatala is the owner of the knife because he came up with the idea. Obatala was creative enough to come up with the idea of a knife to, to kill and butcher animals so that we can eat them. But Ogun created the knife. The idea came from Obatala. Obatala said, yo, you should make a, a, a product, a thing that can successfully cut because I'm tired of using friggin', I don't know what the people use back then. They use like, a, oh, that lava rock. Obsidian, you know, obsidian and sharpening rocks and stuff. Um, so Ogun, I want you to build something that can cut and it's going to look like this and this. And, and Ogun said, word, I got you, pops. And he went to the forge and he created the knife. Um, and then that goes into, oh, who eats first, Ogun or Elikwa? You know, if the blood is touching the knife first, well, then it technically means Ogun eats the first of every sacrifice. That's a whole different topic, you know. Um, but, you know, like that. Okay, so the idea came from Batala. 
and Ogun was the labor, the physical labor it took to create and manifest the idea that Obatala had. Um, and then another case, I think it was Obatala that commissioned Ogun and said, yo, Orokun's out here tripping and he's trying to kill everybody um, and killing everybody out here. So hide your kids, hide your wife, because Orokun's just flooding everything out here. And Obatala said, I need you to create binds that, something so big, binds that could bind um, Olokun and chain Olokun to the bottom of the sea. Ogun's like, word, I got you. I'm going to build a bomb chain, okay? And his job was to build um, something that hadn't existed before with the idea of someone else, sometimes to come up with the idea of himself. You know, um, Orichaoko's plow. How do you make Orichaoko's job easier? Okay, word. Um, instead of using a hoe and having to go in the ground all the time, okay, word. So Ogun built the plow that Orichaoko could use um, and, and plow the land or till the land. So that's just an example. So Ogun is the progression of humanity to build bigger, better, stronger, faster um, ways of doing things from just cars and tools um, to freaking cell phones, you know, just a means of communication. That's what Ogun represents, man's progression. Um, and if Ogun goes away and he runs to the mountain like he did in the famous Pataki, then man's ingenuity goes away and the world stops progressing as it needs to because we should always be getting better, you know? Um, uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, like the Industrial Revolution, that's Ogun represented. Okay, the Industrial Revolution, things like that. I have a book on Ogun. It's $50, five dollars five zero. And it has, um, I can't say all the songs for Ogun. I can't say that for any of my books. Like my Chango book is $55. And it has a redonkulous amount of songs. Like 350 amount, like songs. I don't know. I don't, I can't say it's all the songs for Chango. But Ogun, it's got like most of the songs. So the Ogun book has most of the songs for Ogun. I would never say all. It has a damn lot of songs for Ogun. Um, I also have Ochosi. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know what am I talking about, you can check out my other videos. But basically what it is, it's the songs for Ogun transcribed, not translated, but transcribed. Um, let me say, so if I sing, So que mando do mare, so que mando, so que mando do mare, so que mando do mare, de bu de bu de o baba so kuta, so kuta la roye, so que mando do mare, a la 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 ila, o gun wa de, a la 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 ila, o gun wa de, a wa ni le, o ni le, a wa ni le, mai mai, a re de kilonche, a wa ni le, mai mai. Okay, so you have all that. So I wrote down phonetically, so que mando do mare, okay, S O K E, so que ma. M-A, so que ma, do mare, and I just keep going. So you can read and read along and see with your own eyes how things are pronounced. Um, and then it also comes with the YouTube link so you can hear for yourself how it's sung, which is super important. Um, you know, I have, I personally, like a lot of people, have the book by John Mason, which is a wonderful contribution to the Ocha community because it's, uh, it's in English, I thought. Do I have here? No, I don't. Um, on the chair that I'm sitting on. <clears throat> Wonderful contribution, and it's in English. Um, but um, I just found like when I when I was learning like the translations and how to pronounce things and whatnot, it has all the songs. It has many many songs, but it doesn't tell you how to sing them. So you know, if I give you the lyrics, okay, you have all the songs for Ogun. You're going to look at it. Oh, this is nice. I guess next time I go to a tambor, I have to find it so I know how to sing it. It comes with the YouTube links. So all the legwork has been done for you. It's, um, it's uh, a labor of love and something I take a whole lot of pride in. Um, I'm currently working on Oya, but I got a Watala, Ochun, Ochosi, Chango, um, friggin' Iroko, Oba, Yewa, Nanaburuku. Osain, for anybody who's crowned, I got I got freaking Osain. I got mad songs for Osain. Um, all the songs are not all the same price, Ogun, because he has a ridiculous amount of songs. And uh, and he's like a uh, main Orisha, no disrespect to anybody else. Um, you know, he's he could be a person's crown. 
and it's the crowns that have a ridiculous amount of songs. Of course, Ogun's gonna have more songs than freaking Oba or Iroko. Why? Because Oba's got like shit. She got like one kid, uh, one Omo, every millionth person. You know, she's rare. Yeah, why is rare? Nanaburuku is rare. Um, Inle is rare. You know, people usually aren't crowned, be it Oro or, or direct these Arishas just because they don't claim too many heads, at least not as much as everybody and their mother is Ochun or Yamaya these days. Um, and so Ogun has a lot of songs and I have it all typed out neatly organized with the link. All you have to do is copy the link, paste it into the, uh, the URL, I believe it's called the, the internet thingy, www.blahblahblah.com and you can hear it and read along. Um, and everything is just typed out um, and you get to see, you know, I'm, I take a lot of pride in what I do. I'm very meticulous in the writing. I've done my best as I possibly can to make sure that you're getting the song as correct as possible when it comes to the, the lettering, the, uh, just the way things are written out. I'm not no linguistic scholar Baba Lao guy who's been studying Yoruba. I'm just the guy with the good ear. I'm a singer, songwriter, um, rapper, in case you haven't seen it, shots fired. Um, and so, for example, in the song, um, let's say, for Ogun, Adaoe, 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 Adao, Adao ni le be me, Adao, Adao, Adao ni le be me, Adao, Adao, Adao ni le be me, Adao. A lot of people say, Ata, A T A, Ataoe, or maybe if you say it too fast, it sounds like a T, but it's Ada, A D A. Little things like that, I take pride in when I can say. When you see it written out on paper, you're gonna see Adao. Adao e Adao Adao ni le bebe Adao. Not Adao Adao ni le bebe Adao. Because it's a D, not a T. What's the difference between Ada and Ada? I don't know what Ada is. But Ada means machete. And that makes sense. Okay? Um, so little things like that. I'm very meticulous. I'm very proud of what I do. I'm proud of my work. I'm currently working on Oja, who has... I, I, I put her off to the last one. I don't know what it is. Oja, I'm just not looking forward to working on her book. You know, I respect her. I love her. She's wonderful. Um, but everybody has their favorite, you know. Everybody, you know, especially... Eligua holds a special part in everybody's, everybody's heart. And, of course, the crown... Um, for, for me, that special person for me is like, why wow, that's my boy. We go way back. Um, as well as what I say, I would say my girl, Chun, but just, oh yeah, it's like, I don't know. She has some complex, in my opinion, she has complex music. Um, I'm just not looking for it. I already started, I already started the whole Lazarus Ross album. Um. As well as all the books has all like the last of the Ross, like the entire albums and everything. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Oh, before I forget, if you want your free sample, um, leave your leave your email in the comments below, and uh, I will I will email you. But I will leave my email in the description box because I understand that there are some people who simply don't want to put. Um, their public information out there. Um, you know, there's some people who simply maybe are santeros in secret and they go to work and they just don't want that kind of business out there. They separate the religious life from their public life. Totally understand. So you can, if you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable leaving your personal email for me to personally contact you and say, this is your free sample. Thank you. Here's the prices. Here's all the books that I have and the prices and your strings, no strings attached free sample. Here you go. For people that don't feel comfortable with that, uh, 
I'm gonna leave my email in the description box for you to email me and I will get back to you with the same exact information. So whatever you feel most comfortable with. Um, again, Ogun, $50, 5-0. Um, I also have Ochoci, I have a whole list. Um, you know, I got freaking Olokun, I got Olofio Dudua, I got a whole plethora of, of books. Um, but specifically, I am finished with Ogun, okay? Shout out to all my homo Ogun. Um, Ogun, uh, Alaguede, Ogun Arere, Ogun Alaguede, the blacksmith. Ogun Arere, the butcher. Um, Ogun Kobu Kobu. I don't know what that means, but that's another path, okay? Um, so, God bless all my children of Ogun. And um, get, your, get your book today, okay? Thank you, and uh, God bless when you saw everybody. El Quisador over now. Peace.